welcome back to PoolCenter.com. Today we take a look at the Jandy Neverlube valve. This is a three-way valve, and these come in three sizes, inch and a half to two inch, or two inch to two and a half inch, or two and a half inch to three inch. And what this means really is that you can go inside with the first measurement, in this case, two inch, so I could use a two inch piece of pipe and go right inside the port. Or I could use a two and a half inch coupling and go around the outside. So this is the two to two and a half inch Jandy Never Lube valve. Uh, also very common is the inch and a half to two inch and new this year or last year was a two and a half inch to three inch Jandy valve, the, the big boy. And let's take a look inside, shall we? When I turn the handle on the top here, you can see the diverter turning on the inside. This diverter is kind of like a door. And the door matches the width and curvature of the handle. So when the handle is halfway covering a port, as it is here, you see that the diverter is allowing half of the water to flow through. If I turn it all the way, of course, we close off that port completely. There are stops on the cover here to prevent over-rotation and prevent deadheading of the inlet here. So these valves allow rotation of 180 degrees. Now let's really take a look inside. All right, after removing these eight screws on your Jandy valve, we can pull up on the handle to remove the cover and the diverter assembly. You might have to use a small screwdriver in between the lid and the housing to pry it off. But then what you get is we have the housing here by itself. And removing the knob, the locking knob on the top of the Jandy valve, we can pull off that handle and notice how the grooves match the stem so that you can't put the handle on incorrectly. And note the location of the inlet. That's got to go on when at the same point you took it off at. So sliding the cover off of the diverter. Well, you see there's two O-rings here on the diverter. Those are important. And they should be lubricated. The face of the diverter does not need any lubrication. This uh, silicone seal is all it needs. There is another O-ring on the top of the lid, up under here, called the lid O-ring. And getting it back together that down snug on there and position the inlet back at the T here and push down firmly ah, there it is. and the lock nut back on top And with that, we have our Jandy Valve all back together again. Thanks for joining us at PoolCenter.com. See you next time.